Hey Biz Bestie, in today's video, I'm sharing my top three reasons why you should be using ConvertKit in your coaching business. So stay tuned. In case we haven't met yet, I'm Sade Johnson and I'm a tech strategist helping non-techie coaches just like you to ditch the tech overwhelm so you can get more clients with ease. On this channel, I'm teaching you all about how to choose and use the behind the scenes tech that goes along with having a successful online coaching business. So if that sounds like what you need, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos that I post every Thursday. So let's get into it. Reasons why you should be using ConvertKit. Reason number one, it's super user friendly. It's a really powerful tool. ConvertKit, but the way that they have designed it makes it very easy to navigate and to understand how everything works. So when you log in, it's super easy to figure out how to create an email broadcast or to set up a custom automation. I love this because once you sign up, it's not going to take you days and days to figure out how to get going. You can really hit the ground running right away with something or with sending out your email newsletters or sending out a new campaign. Reason number two is it's easy to create sequences. Sequences are really a secret weapon when it comes to email automation and nurturing your list on autopilot. A sequence is a series of emails that you set up to be sent automatically at specific time intervals once someone has joined your list or taken some sort of action. So for example, you can set up a welcome email sequence that consists of, let's say, five emails. So when someone subscribes to your list, you can set up an automation so they can automatically be added to that sequence. So they get those emails over a period of time, let's say every two days. So during that sequence, when they're getting sent those emails every couple of days, you're providing value, you're establishing yourself as an authority in your coaching niche, and then you're inviting them to become a client. So all of that work is done behind the scenes because you set it up one time and every time someone joins your list, they get sent that welcome sequence and it keeps happening behind the scenes like magic. And all of a sudden you're getting all of these clients because you've been consistently pitching as people get onto your email list. Pretty much all email service providers have the ability to create automations, but they can be a little clunky looking. So ConvertKit offers a visual automation feature or a visual automation builder. So it's super clear what you're setting up. And if you're a visual learner, then you're really gonna love it. You can use their visual automation builder to automatically tag subscribers into different categories, such as whether or not they're in your Facebook group or whether or not they attend Ended a webinar that you hosted. And this is super helpful because you can send targeted emails to specific people on your list when you have them tagged. And building those automations is going to become a normal thing in your business. As your list grows, you're going to see more opportunities to automate and more opportunities to get more people in your coaching programs. I'm going to be sharing all of my tips and strategies about email automation in an upcoming challenge that I'm hosting. It's called Up Level Your List and it's a free five day challenge where I'm gonna be sharing email automation secrets for high end coaches. I'm super excited because during these five days, we're gonna learn one, how to pick the best email service provider for your business. Obviously, you know I love ConvertKit, but we're gonna talk about a couple options and regardless of what email service provider you choose, the tips and strategies that I'm gonna share with you will apply. On day two, we're gonna talk about the top seven strategies to build your list. So if you've been struggling with coming up with how to even get people to sign up for your list, then I'm gonna share seven awesome strategies with you so you don't have to worry about it anymore. On the third day, I'm gonna be talking about the number one mistake that new coaches make and how to avoid it. And then on the fourth day, we're gonna talk about how to build an email funnel so you don't lose any leads. And finally, on the fifth day, we're going to talk about how to create an email newsletter uh, publishing calendar so that you can avoid burnout. Because I know even thinking about building an email list probably sounds daunting and overwhelming. And then 
actually sending things to that email list is a whole other ball game. So we're going to make sure that you leave this, this challenge with a game plan so you can feel set up for success when it comes to email automation and email marketing. It's going to be October 4th through 8th, which is a Monday through Friday. And I'm going to be going live each day in an exclusive Facebook group at 12 o'clock Pacific time. So if you can't join live, there will be replays available throughout that week. So go register now at shadejohnson.com slash challenge. And I cannot wait to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my future videos just like this one that I post every Thursday. And if you have a biz bestie that would benefit from this info, be sure to share it with her. I'll see you next time. Bye.